If there's one thing the prestigious one can't stand, it's bad language. But one thing that makes it even worse is when bad language and adult humour appears in places it shouldn't, such as kids cartoons, because we trusted the likes of Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon to raise society's children, but it turns out the creators were just having a giant laugh at our expense by putting in as many adult jokes as possible, hoping we wouldn't notice. But I've gone back, I've had a look, and I've found the very worst ones. I'm Joe Hendry, this is What Culture, and this is 10 kids TV shows that are totally not PG. First up, let's start with a classic, it's Ren and Stimpy. Now there are a ridiculous number of offences from this show, but the one we've chosen to focus on is from the episode Sven Hoek, from the fourth episode of the second season. In this episode, Stimpy befriends a like-minded individual named Sven, and in a noticeable precursor to the South Park episode which references closets, the two characters decide to go and play in the closet, with Stimpy declaring that he'd like to show off his juggling and sword-swallowing skills. This was eventually cut by Nickelodeon but restored in its entirety for the DVD release, so be careful parents when you're buying the DVD. Up next, let's go to one of the most overt adult references that I am amazed made it onto Cartoon Network. And this one takes place in one of the network's more bizarre programs, Ed, Ed and Eddie. In the season 6 episode, Look Before You, Ed, Eddie says to a bashful Ed in the middle of the snow, What's winter without a snow job? Then he says, Get it? A snow job, just to further rub it in, and then Ed replies with, Well, that was clever. No, Ed, it's inappropriate and it shouldn't be in a kid's cartoon, damn it. Moving on, we're going back to Nickelodeon with a classic show that is guaranteed to warm your heart. It's Hey Arnold. What could possibly be wrong with Hey Arnold? Well, Unfortunately, did you know that this favourite also contains some absolute filth across multiple episodes? In fact, the show's theme park, which is referenced across many different episodes, is called Wanky Land. Okay, it's called Wanky Land. And the creators claim that this is a parody of Wacky Land, but I'm not really buying it. I'm not sure if that's even any better. Now moving on to superheroes, it's the Justice League cartoon. And in the episode Injustice for All, the Flash is out to impress Hawk Girl with his displays of speed. She acknowledges his prowess when he replies, Yep, fastest man alive, when Hawk Girl quickly tears him down and says, That might explain why you can't get a date. Burn. Don't worry, Flash, it's happened to the best of us. Well, not me, of course, it's just a figure of speech. Next up, we're sticking with superheroes, and this time it's the acclaimed Batman the Animated Series. And I know what you're going to say, it's not a kid's cartoon. Yes, it is. It was on at the weekends in the morning, and I saw it when I was a kid. So it's a kid's cartoon. Yes, adults can see it, but it still counts. Now, the episode in question is called Beware the Creeper, and in this episode, the Joker enters the room to discover a giant, giant cream pie. And in an attempt to seduce the Joker, Harley Quinn seductively emerges from the cream pie and sings a tribute to Marilyn Monroe's happy birthday rendition, completely covered in cream pie, as she invites him to take the night off and let's play. And if that's not suggestive enough, she then says, would you like to try some of my pie? I'm sure you'll want seconds. Now we've seen enough of The Rock's promos to know what that means, but thankfully it seems the Joker wasn't in the mood to try any pie of the Poontang variety this time. Going back to Cartoon Network, it's a very subtle one, but still a very inappropriate one indeed. This one's all the way back in Season 1, Episode 6, and we know the premise behind Johnny Bravo. We know what to expect from his antics, but for God's sakes, people, in this episode, Farrah Fawcett plays herself to make it even worse, and she's the potential love interest for Johnny Bravo, and the only way he can get to her is by going to Farrah Fawcett's young cousin's birthday party where she is playing pin the tail on the donkey. 
Farah says, this is so much fun, I can't remember the last time I was blindfolded, before it zooms in on her face and she says, oh wait, yes I can, and laughs suggestively. Absolutely disgusting. But here's the thing, that is the thing that people pick up on. But I went back and watched the episode and there's something much worse and more worrying. At the start of the episode, if it wasn't bad enough, Farrah Fawcett's young cousin asked Johnny Bravo to go to her birthday party, to which he literally, word for word, replies, call me back in 15 years when you're a co-ed. Can someone please explain to me what on earth was going on over at Cartoon Network? Sticking with the despicable Cartoon Network, we're in the bizarre world of Cow and Chicken, and this is from the seventh episode of season two. This episode originally aired, but it was pulled from having any reruns, and for very good reason. Why? Because the Buffalo Gals are, quote, a motorcycle riding gang that burst into people's homes and chew their carpets. And they are quite literally munching the carpets as the dad screams in terror and says, don't let them get me, don't let them get me, to which the mum replies, they're not after you. You know what, Cartoon Network, that's, that's enough from you for now. Now, up next, we've got a serious repeat offender. It's SpongeBob SquarePants. We've got a moment where SpongeBob tells Gary not to drop the soap. There's another one where SpongeBob is watching quite clearly some pornographic sea stuff as Gary catches him in the act and he's forced to return to the sports channel. Oh, and there's also that one time they reference that it's the time of the month as a giant red blimp approaches. Up next, we've got Animaniacs, the good old wholesome Warner Brothers cartoon that could do no wrong, except sneak through one of the most outrageous adult jokes in a kids' TV show ever. In the 25th episode of the first season, in an attempt to solve a riddle, Yakko gets his detective clothes on as he orders Dot to dust for prints. And instead of dusting for prints, she returns with the artist formerly known as, to which Yakko replies, no, 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 fingerprints, gesturing with his fingers. And this seems to please the musical icon before Dot replies, oh, I, I don't think so. Absolutely out. Outrageous. Go back and watch this clip if you don't believe me. But up last, we've got one of my personal favourites as a child, and it just devastates me to see how disgusting this show actually was, because this show, back with Nickelodeon, it's Rocco's Modern Life. Now, there are an insane number of entries that we could choose here, given the fact that the writers later revealed the entire premise of the show behind the scenes was to try and see what they could get away with. Now, I'm going to take a deep breath because there's a lot to go through here. We could talk about the fact that they visit the No-Tell Motel, there's a theme park ride called the Doggy Style Ride where everyone has to go on their hands and knees, the restaurant is called the Chokey Chicken which by the way was erected in 82, they all play a board game where they're all holding paddles and there's a monkey in the middle of it, they watch adult videos called Toads in Love, there's a horror film called Night of the Shaved Kittens, there's a pit where you can jack all you want, there's an empire called Balzac, the doctor is called Dr. Ben Dover, Rocco asks Hef if there's a sausage in his pocket, Rocco's dog is called Spunky, or how about the fact that Rocco is actually a sex line worker working at the one-on-one -on -one hotline where there's a note beside him that says be hot, be naughty, be courteous, and his job involves just saying baby, baby, baby down the phone for God's sakes. But the one that is perhaps most in your face is the fact that eyes are used for private parts in the show. At Dr. Bendova's office, he asks Rocco to cough as he cradles his eyes. But that's quite frankly nothing compared to the antics of Mrs. Bighead, who approaches Rocco and asks, Oh Rocco, don't you like my eyes? They then grow to a ridiculous proportion and resemble her chest area before she says, Touch them! Rocco is kind enough to touch them as they're squashed in his face as he says, Yes, oh my, very soft and fainy. So there you have it, there are the 10 kids TV shows that are totally not PG. And don't worry, the prestigious one has filed complaints with both Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon. We hope you've enjoyed this video as much as it disgusted me. If you want to follow me, it's at Joe S. Hendry. Make sure you like, share and subscribe and I shall see you next time.